Hello. Today I'm excited to announce SlideRoll Analytics's new integration with Clavio. With this integration, all of your subscribers to your Clavio list will be tracked automatically in all destinations that you have enabled in SlideRoll Analytics. That includes Google Analytics 4, Google Tag Manager, and Facebook. So let's jump in and show you what this looks like. So right here, you can see I have on my demo store the Clavio pop-up. And I'm going to subscribe to this Clavio pop-up by clicking, entering my email address and clicking continue. All right, let's see what happens. You can see here down in my Google Analytics 4 real-time debugger that as soon as the contact uh, information was captured, be it either an email address or a phone number, we fire a contact subscribe event to Google Analytics 4. That contact subscribe event tracks the following parameters, the data source, Clavio in this case, the company ID, that's your unique identifier in Clavio, uh, the form ID, that's the actual form ID in Clavio, the form version, the form name. You can see here the form name matches the name that's in Clavio, so you'll be able to distinguish the efficacy of different forms, try out different forms, and see how they perform in Google Analytics. The consent mode, and whether or not they subscribed via email or phone number. We also send a user property for is subscribed. So when the user subscribes, we send uh, the is subscribed event as or the is subscribed user property as true. So that way in Google Analytics, you can compare how subscribers perform to non-subscribers. In Facebook, we send a lead event for this. Uh, that's what Facebook expects uh, uh, subscribers to be called lead. Uh, leads in Facebook. So if you use our Facebook integration, uh, you can now optimize your Facebook ads for leads. You can remarket to people who uh, have subscribed to your newsletter. You can find lookalike audiences for people that have subscribed to your newsletter uh, and other things in Facebook ads. In Google Tag Manager, we not only send uh, all of the information that we sent over to Google Analytics for, but because we're allowed to send uh, personally identifiable information to Google Tag Manager, uh, we go ahead and send the actual email address that was submitted. We, if the user submits a phone number, we also submit the phone number. And we also submit a encrypted email address. We use SHA-256 encryption. Uh, we do this because a lot of destinations in Google Tag Manager don't allow you to send an unencrypted email address. They, they require you to send an encrypted email address. So we go ahead and encrypt it for you so that way you don't have to do any encryption in Google Tag Manager since encryption can be a little bit of a pain. And, uh, and so we just save you that step. So now with Google Tag Manager, you can send this data over to uh, Google Ads with enhanced conversions because we have the email address. You could send it over to uh, Pinterest. You could send it to any destination you want with our Google Tag Manager integration. Great. So that's the context subscribe event. We also track all of the other events that Clavio uh, enables. So here in this case, like I said, as soon as we capture any information, we fire a contact subscribe event. Uh, but if the user adds additional information, like say they also subscribe to an SMS, when they do that, we fire an additional event for form step complete. That includes all of the information about the form, in this case, uh, the step name is the most relevant, so they opted into SMS, right? We'll fire an event when they close the, uh, the form, and we fire another event when the form opens. Um, so uh, all of the events that are relevant in Clavio are being tracked by SlideRoll Analytics. All of that is tracked by default. Now, there are a few additional steps if you want to use those parameters in the Google Analytics for reporting interface. So if you recall, uh, down here in subscribe, here's all of the contact, here's all of the parameters that we send over uh, with the contact subscribe event. So to be able to see these in Google Analytics 4, I need to add them as custom definitions. I'll show you how to do that here. So if 
So here's all the custom definitions. If you use slide rule analytics and you use our auto configuration window, you'll see all of the uh, dimensions that we add automatically. Uh, if you want to track these Clavio uh, uh, prop parameters here, like uh, a useful one is probably the form name. You can add that here. You just go event parameter form name, like so. Make sure you copy the correct one. You can name it form name and call it the name of the form, like so, and hit save. And now you'll be able to see that parameter in your Google Analytics 4 reporting. There's one other thing you might consider in Google Analytics 4, and that's flagging the contact subscribe as its own conversion. So it's going to be tracked as an event automatically. You'll see it show up uh, in the events list over here, uh, but you may want to flag it as a conversion. To do that, you simply come into your admin uh, section and you select conversions and you're going to name it the event, the name of the event, which in this case is contact subscribe. So you can do that like so. Contact subscribe, hit save. And now going forward, all of those events will be flagged as conversions in Google Analytics 4. You might also want to create a user property for the is subscribed parameter. To do that, you come in and you go select the scope user and you say is, you might call this dimension subscriber, is subscriber, like so. And you would enter that in. <clears throat> and now you can say uh, whether or not the user is subscribed, like so. There's finally one other thing to really maximize uh, the use of this Clavio integration, and that would be to create an audience for that user subscriber custom dimension we just created. To do so, you would come to audiences. We're going to create a custom audience, and we're going to include users that have that is subscriber custom dimension we just created, and we're going to say uh, exactly matches one because we send this as a Boolean uh, and one is true. Now, if you set this up uh, you know, just in the next few hours, you won't see any subscribers in here. But uh, if you have just created that custom dimension for is subscriber, um, but in the future, you'll see it. Now, I want you to set this to the maximum duration and you're gonna name the audience subscribers. Cool, and hit save. You might also consider creating a uh, a audience for the opposite. So that's creating a non-subscriber. Uh, to do so, you just do the same thing where you go create custom audience and you're gonna create a group to exclude. And in this case, say is subscriber is, does not exactly match one like this. And you hit okay, great. Now you can set that to either the maximum dur duration or uh, membership duration, so for the past 30 days, and you would just hit, uh, you would just call this non-subscribers, like so. Cool. And you'll hit save. <clears throat> Great. Hope you find uh, this uh, integration useful. We know lots of our customers use Clavio. Like I said, uh, this is live today, so you'll start seeing those subscription events come in. Um, you can use the tutorial here that we've gone over to, uh, to get the most out of that integration. If you're really uh, heavily leveraging Clavio uh, and you wanna see that data in Google Analytics, you can see that here uh, and use those audiences and custom definitions to get the most out of this integration. Uh, you can take a look at our Google Tag Manager integration and our, our Facebook uh, integration if you aren't using those already. If you want to get the Clavio subscription information into either of those two platforms, take a look at setting those up. Uh, thanks for your time and thank you.